Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth developer log video. I finally started recording this after a couple people messaged me kind of asking where it was. I normally like to take a bit of a break uh, just to see kind of the aftermath of each release. Uh, this gives me the opportunity to kind of figure out what I need to work on for the next version. In this video, I won't be showcasing all of the new features uh, just because there were so many little tweaks and changes to the game. And most of the additions were adding tons of new content. So I don't necessarily want to spoil any of that new stuff either. Uh, although I kind of already am by showing gameplay. <laughs> so like I said, the bulk of 1.2 lies uh, within the content. There's over a hundred new tiles, items, environmentals, sounds, and uh, most importantly, the recipes, which was a huge request last time around. There's also tons of new systems kind of half in place right now. Hopefully for the next version, these may be more fully realized. A larger addition to this release was the inclusion of swimming, fire, and lighting, which kind of changes the gameplay uh, quite a bit. You can basically escape any monster if you run into the water, but there's kind of a risk of losing a lot of stamina while you're in there, so you kind of, uh, there is some risk, I guess. The lighting, however, is one of those half-in-place kind of systems. You do have a radius of light and darkness now, but things like uh, the fire will only affect lighting if you're close to it. The fire itself can do things like uh, burn down trees uh, to create ash and charcoal and be used to cook food as well as a couple other little tricks. A big change to the gameplay is also the addition of tool and item breakage or durability. This forces you to craft more and gather more resources as you go as well. Make sure to check out the change log in the description of the video to see all the changes in this release. Like I said, there's tons of smaller tweaks that I uh, won't even mention in this video. Unfortunately, uh, with all these game-like elements, Wayward in its current form still lacks a lot of what makes a game. Uh, this will probably be the main focus for 1.3, kind of making the game more of a, I guess, a game. <laughs> Here's the part where I kind of get a little bit more technical. The big thing I screwed up with on 1.2 is the use of individual graphics instead of sprite sheets. So each player was loading something like 300 resources. Uh, so literally like 300 HTTP requests uh, on each uh, reload or refresh, which is absolutely terrible. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking really. Everybody wants procedural map generation back in, so that will be happening too, now that I finally know what I'm doing with that. This time it will be seed based, uh, using midpoint displacement system to generate uh, kind of a 2D height map for the terrain. Well, that about wraps up this video. If you want to see an updated list of what will be going into the next version, make sure to check the link in the description. Thanks.